Where I'd like to start, in this book, many of the essays talk about how holidays have become child-centered. And to make the point, I'm going to just read a paragraph from Chapter 3 by Gary Cross, and it's called Just for Kids. And what he's talking about are holidays, not just the December ones, but also the Halloween and birthdays and how we are very much reinventing childhood innocence with each of these holidays. So let me read it. The anticipation of Christmas morning, the excitement of dashing down the dark and cool street, trick-or-treating, being the birthday girls seated at the table surrounded by family, mounds of presents, and a candlelit cake, or sharing an afternoon with a seldom seen father at Disney's Magic Kingdom. These are all fond memories shared by many modern American children. They are also rituals invented by adults to evoke in their offspring the wonder of childhood innocence, very often expressed through gift giving. Without too much exaggeration, we could say that holidays and pilgrimages manifestations of deep communal needs were changed into celebrations of wondrous innocence in the last 150 years. This transformation coincided with both new attitudes towards the young and the rise of consumerism. Christmas and Halloween became the quintessential festivals of wondrous innocence, while vacations and tourist sites were transformed into children's times and places. So that point about reinventing a wondrous innocence kind of sets us up for not meeting the mark in a lot of ways. 